It's time to level up on our SQL queries by learning a few more commonly used keywords. Let's dive in. Sometimes it can be helpful to rename columns in our result set, whether for clarity or brevity. We can do this using aliasing. Perhaps we'd like to select the name and hire year for each record in the employees table. We could alias the name column as first name in the query by adding the as keyword to indicate an alias of first name after selecting the name field. The result set now has first name rather than name as the column header. The alias only applies to the result of this particular query. In other words, the field name in the employees table itself is still name rather than first name. Some SQL questions require a way to return a list of unique values. Let's imagine that we are interested in getting a list of years in which we hired our current employees. If we select the year hired field from the employees table, the result set shows several years listed twice, which isn't what we are looking for. To get a list of years with no repeat values, we can add the distinct keyword before the year hired field name in the select statement. Now, we can see that all of our employees were hired in just four different years. It's possible to return the unique combinations of multiple field values by listing multiple fields after the distinct keyword. Take a look at the employees table. Perhaps we'd like to know the years that different departments hired employees. We could use this SQL query to look at this information, selecting the DEPT ID and year hired from the employees table. Looking at the results, we see that Department 3 hired two employees in 2021. To avoid repeating this information, we could add the distinct keyword before the fields to select. Notice that the department ID and year hired fields still have repeat values individually, but none of the records are the same. They are all unique combinations of the two fields. Finally, let's discuss saving SQL result sets. In SQL, a view refers to a table that is the result of a saved SQL select statement. Views are considered virtual tables, which means that the data a view contains is not generally stored in the database. Rather, it is the query code that is stored for future use. A benefit of this is that whenever the view is accessed, it automatically updates the query results to account for any updates to the underlying database. To create a view, we'll add a line of code before the select statement, create view, then the name we'd like for the new view, then the as keyword to assign the results of the query to the new view name. Here, we create a view called employee hire years by assigning the results of a query selecting three fields from the employees table to a new view. There is no result set when creating a view. Once a view is created, however, we can query it just as we would a normal table by selecting from the view. Thank you.